Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Wednesday night. Across this country, all 50 states now have begun the difficult and careful task of reopening. But there's something else playing out tonight right in the middle of all of this. Families already worried about coronavirus, thousands of them now forced to flee their homes. A state of emergency at this hour in Michigan, one of the hardest hit states from the virus now facing this. Homes swept away by the flooding, the images coming in tonight. Two dams failing, there had been so much concern that this could happen and it has with dire results. And look at this tonight, homes being lifted off their foundations. This image uh, sadly playing out more than once as homes could be seen floating away. And it's impossible to imagine tonight what these families are going through, already trying to stay safe in this pandemic, now in shelters, trying to keep a safe distance from strangers. Many not knowing if they'll have a home to return to, and if so, in what condition. We are on the scene tonight, and meteorologist Rob Marciano leads us off from Midland, Michigan. Tonight, horrifying images in the middle of a pandemic. Oh my God, that's somebody's house. Homes in central Michigan floating away. The National Weather Service warning residents to get to higher ground. Two catastrophic dam collapses in just hours. We advise that we have a dam bridge at Edenville. This is the moment the Edenville Dam disintegrated outside Midland, Michigan, following days of rain. Downstream, the Sanford Dam breaching less than two hours later. The dam has failed. 100% failure. Evacuate. 10,000 residents forced to flee. Could it get worse? Yes. A nearby Dow chemical plant forced to evacuate, too. Officials say floodwaters are mixing with containment ponds. The nuclear reactor on site already shut down as a coronavirus protocol. Federal regulators had reportedly worried about a possible failure at the Edenville Dam for years. Regarding the dams, the state of Michigan is reviewing every potential uh, legal recourse that we have. Complicating matters, Michigan remains under a stay-at-home order to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Officials say hundreds are in shelters. Another 40 or 50 stayed in their cars, and the reason largely was uh, the concerns about the COVID-19 virus. On top of this 100-year event, we have a 500-year event in a flood that has absolutely devastated uh, a lot of families. Just unbelievable. Rob Marciano with us live tonight from Midland, Michigan. And Rob, the images, as you know, being right there on the scene are heartbreaking on top of what families were already going through uh, with the pandemic. I know there's concern, obviously, with the flooding where you are as we head into the night, but the system's also on the move. Where does it hit next? Well, it's heading south tonight. I can tell you they're concerned about one of those dams failing further. This river has never been this high. You can see the water pouring into that new hotel, into the county courthouse, dangerously close to the main street here, which, like many towns, has already taken an economic hit from the virus shutdown. Thankfully, sunshine today, but that system has moved into Ohio. The mid-Atlantic could see over five more inches of rain there with flooding likely in the next couple of days in the Carolinas. This river right now is cresting, but will remain at record levels, David, into the weekend. All right, Rob Marciano, we appreciate you making that trip to be there with those families tonight in Michigan. Thank you. And of course, all. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.